so at the end of this tutorial you will be able to make this kind of application where the live search can be done so as you can see if I'm typing here you can see the result is displaying here so now let's click here and create NPS react create react app live search 2 I have already created uh, react live search 1 uh, in another video which I have already uploaded and it's running so as you can see the installation is uh, going on now if you want to check the my previous video then this is the one where I have already shown that how you can make live search through react uh, js using hooks but in this video I have not used uh, live API so here I'm going to use live API for live search with react js and using hooks like use state and use effect so now let's open the folder the project folder so let me go to my d drive and then uh, react class uh, where is it where is it yeah this is the react class and then live search 2 so it's still installing so as you can see so let's delete this for, uh, file first everything so now let's write here empty tag and then let's write here declare cost then square bracket api Mm. fetch API and then set API equals to use state and as you can see and then inside this we will write empty tag so this is uh, the bracket uh, the uh, array once again cost then search term and then set search term once again use state and then here empty string because user will type here string it's not an array and now once again cost so this will be the filter result cost search result after search result the set search result set search result equals to once again here use state and then inside this there will be square bracket that means uh, we will once again use here array because the result will come as an array and now we will use use effect this function so this is a function callback function and then here uh, arrow function and inside this we will write axios dot get then inside this we will pass here the URL of or API so this is the inbuilt API the free API then dot then and inside this response and uh, here one more bracket and here curly braces one, one more uh, bracket will be there and here set this search uh, set uh, set API set API and then 
response. Set API and then fetch API response dot data dot data dot memes dot memes. So this the data will be stored. So if you want to check that why I've written here data dot data that memes, then let's open this file and as you can see first th there is data and then Again, data, the one is default data, second data, and one is memes. So that is why we have typed here response. So our response R, R will be capital. Response dot data dot data. And this will be set in set API, and ultimately it will be stored in fetch API. And now here we will pass <coughs> sorry, empty uh, array so that it will load only once when uh, the, the page will be loading. And again here, let's write here cost search data equals to the, the, their function and here we will pass parameter value. This is arrow function and we will pass here value value then search term that one that function search term and then the value so whatever value the user will be typing it will be set into search term so finally inside search term now if search result search term not equal equals to blank that means if user has typed something in that case what will happen here we will write cost then uh, uh, fin f filter data equals to this is the variable you can type anything then fetch api fetch api dot filter inside this item and then arrow function curly braces return object dot values dot values dot the, the item dot join this function for whole thing we are writing for filtering the user input then to lowercase it will change to lowercase then includes includes and inside this we will write search term dot to lowercase search term here to lowercase so whatever user will be typing it will be converted to lowercase that is why we are writing here to lowercase and finally we will set this set uh, set search result this one and then filtered data So this will be actually inside that. So let's cut it here. Let's cut and then paste here. Else, in, in this else part, if user have not typed some anything, in that case, what will happen? Once again, search result. Let's copy it and inside this, this parameter will be passed as fetch API this fetch API so that's it if user types in that case the data will be filtered data or else fetch API that means whatever it will be coming from API it will be set to set result <coughs> now let's go to 
the display part. So here div, and then let's create one text box. So input type text, and then on change e. This is a this is a function actually e error function search term search term this one actually this search term search data actually search data dot e dot target dot value e dot target dot value value it will be And then let's close the input. Now, below this, so type here, the, this will label. And below this, we will write div again. So let's start this curly braces. We will put here if condition. So you will, and you will close. And if such term greater than one, that means if user has typed something, such term done greater than one, in that case, what will happen? Actually, we need to put here length. So such term dot length greater than one, in that case, Mm, this one still getting error. Actually, there will be no if condition here. So this question mark, and let's remove this curly braces as well. This uh, uh, bracket, let's remove. And here, so search term dot length greater than one, the question mark, that means if not then and inside this we will write ul let's let's put this ul and ul inside this li and close li and ally close so filtered data here in this filter data dot map item then calibrates So this ally will be inside this. Then item dot this is the name. So let's put here name item dot name in else condition so colon and then just let's copy this part and paste here with this so there is a one this will be closing here still getting error so this is closing here this is closing here so this one this one is closing here 
and there is one more curly braces. This item close now. So here, yes. So this is actually the if condition, and one curly braces will be closing. Yes, that's it. So the error is gone now. Now. Uh, let's go and open let's let's install first axios so we need to uh, first let's uh, this we are using here axios as you can see so this module we need to install here so npm install axios folder so first we need to go to project folder so cd live search 2 now we are inside this so now npm install axios install axios now this is being installed into our project directory okay so it's installing as you can see finally it's installed so now let's write here npm start And this one, the first one is fetch API. That one is for fetching the API directly. That means what? This is the first step. So let's check if it's uh, coming or not. So this step is for fetching the data directly and showing here in the last part. This one. So here will be actually uh, this fetch API because first time it will be when page will load it will go to and this one is for filter data that means this this part is for when user writes something In that case this data will come here line number 21 i mean this one is for when user types something but if user doesn't type anything in that case the second part that means 27 will be set there line number 27 this will set the data and when you just types the first one so in this case as I told you so now we need to write in second part here the first one will be search result map dot item this will be the first one in, in second one in the first case this will be filter data means fetch api dot map So as you can see, there are three, fetch API, set API. This in set API, this data is set from API. And this one is for such term that when you just type something, then it is filtered and returned as an object here. And we are showing that in line number 42. This one. So that's the explanation so and set into search result and finally the data is uh, stored in search results that is why we are writing here search result so finally either the data will be showing from search result or this one so it says that axios is not defined so why it's so okay we uh, we have already installed this till we are getting this error so what we need to do let's check here into the code i think we have not and then install axios let's do install once again but i think it, I, we have already installed so but the thing is that we have not called at the top so let's import import axios from axios so this will be small case not a capital small axios and then dot get Let's start the project with npm start and let's see what we get.
so what we are getting here the error okay it says that get is undefined so why it is so let's see okay so axios okay there will be no curly braces here it will be simple so now it should work here let's refresh it and you can see currently it is showing the text box but not the data there is something wrong so we, we, we are typing and nothing happens here so first let's check if the data is coming or not so right here console dot log where we are getting the data from API so console dot log and then let's type this response.data.means and check if the data is coming or not yes as you can see the data is coming properly that means the data is being fetched from API directly yes so that means what the data is coming but somehow data is not displaying in our view section so something is wrong here I believe so fetch api dot map dot item then list dot name li so there is something wrong I believe here li li the extra space let's remove let's do one thing uh, just comment it and let's write here console.log and check if the data is coming in item or not so just copy it item.name and then yes the data is coming that means what there is something problem in HTML that means this JavaScript so let's comment it and let's check if ul ul is closing properly so what is wrong with this that the data is not coming so as you can see that after doing this console log, dot log it is working perfectly so now let's check here refresh still the data is not coming so where is it wrong let's check let's get back here once again so this is fetch api dot map okay so this will be not curly braces actually this will be a second bracket so let's remove this and start with this second bracket so this one is closing here no so the line where one bracket two bracket okay so one more bracket will be closing here yes now let's check it should work and same here as well there will be second bracket and here also there are two yeah so now it should work as yes so now as you can see the data is displaying here and if you make search here say example uh, UNO yes yeah, so as you can see the data is displaying here containing the word UNO now if you check here in the rest api the rest api there is one more data called url so we can keep the url as well so let's just write here hyphen then img src 
inside curly braces item dot url and then image this url will be closing so now let's refresh yes as you can see the image is coming apart from the text so let's put here height and width height equals to 100 width let's just copy it change it to width 100 so the same will be here in the top as well just copy from here and paste here so as you know the first case is when user makes search yes the image size has been decreased and if you type here then as you can see the live search is displaying to you for example dark deck so the data is displaying of the track now let's come back to this page and understand that how the whole process works so let's squeeze it and yes as you can see here we will compare the code the first line of code is and to fetch the data and set into this function set API and finally in fetch API means after fetching the data it is going to fetch API variable and finally that variable we are calling where we are calling here fetch API dot map dot item and we are displaying the data here and then when the user types something here so e dot targeted value that means the data is going to where it is going as a parameter to value and it is set in set set term search set term and finally the data is filtered into line number 24 i'm talking about fetch api dot filter then with this function return object dot value dot item dot join, join <coughs> the data is returning this filter data and set into search result so when when the user types something in that case this happens or else if user has not typed anything then the default data of rest api is coming so this is when user types then that condition that that means it is filtered and it comes to in that one or else line number 30 comes and shows into here search term it is displaying if so this is if condition if search term greater than zero that means user if user have typed something then in that case this will display or else if user had not typed anything in that case it will display the second one so when user types in something then search result is filtered and finally the data is displayed here using search result or else fetch api so use effect is as you know that one is for when user uh, when the page loads first time so in case you have problem in understanding what is this use effect and what you use your state i have already recorded a video and that is already in my youtube playlist of react js so in case you have missed that video then you check here let me show mm, let's, let me scroll yes you can see there is huge state and huge state and huge effect as well so both the functions the react uh, this these uh, hooks i have uh, described i have explained in detail 
So in case you have missed those videos, if you don't understand, then you can check that video so that you can clearly.